but is there anything that you're seeing in this first part of the year, this first quarter of 2022 that is new, that's exciting? What is I'm the landscape a, well, of the wholesaling business? Great question. Mm -hmm. So what I've been noticing is happening is that buyers are buying a lot. Mm -hmm. They are taking down tighter deals mm -hmm. because tighter deals are, are happening. Yep. They are buying on speculation because they are watching and reading the reports of where the market is headed in the next 12 months. Yep. Inflation. And inflation. They're, all the writing is on the wall. The buyers aren't dumb. They know they're going to kick themselves in the ass for not taking – down and pulling the trigger on what looks like a tight deal today right that by the time they're done remodeling is going to be a, a smoke show of a home run mm -hmm. so we're seeing that a lot in fact today we walked a deal pace and i on on paper it was a little tight sure yet even on our way out pace was like you know what i want to buy this house yeah i legit said that he, he's just like look i know it's tight and i might only make 20 grand today mm -hmm. but by the time i'm done this thing i'm probably going to walk with 50 60. right so that's what we're seeing we're seeing tremendous amount of volume a tremendous amount yeah. of activity people are ready to pull the trigger there's more liquidity in the market than i've ever seen hard money rates are low buyers are out there mm -hmm. they're ready to pull the trigger i mean guys if you're not taking advantage of the market conditions that we have right now you're missing the point that's it you completely are missing the point now is the time to strike guys Newsflash, okay? And and I bet you this ages very well. Yeah. The market's not going to crash anytime soon. Right. It's just not. Right. Russia, what about that? What about all these things that are going on? COVID's gone now. What's the next thing that's going to come in, right? It, we live in a world where I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I can't remember a time when it hasn't been fucked up. Right. Okay? There's always it's strife. There's always something. There's always something. Otherwise, there wouldn't be news. That's it. The news needs something to cry about, to be sad about, to be fearful about, to sell you fear. Mm -hmm. The news needs something. Now, I'm not saying that what's happening in Russia isn't important. Right. It's important yeah. what's happening in no, Ukraine. No, it's important. It. Yeah. I'm not saying that COVID is not important. It's important. What's happened is important. The implications, the economic implications, the inflation, all the things, all the people that died, the loss of life, all of it's important. Mm -hmm. It's all important. And I'm not minimizing what we live in and no. how and how life has been yep. but what i'm saying is if you're looking at global events and geopolitical situations to crash the market so it can be your time to get in first of all that's fucked up second of all that's fucked up and third yep. stop it yeah Damn, let's I get you to were work say it a third time that would have been so great <laughs> <laughs> he's got plenty of them in there don't worry he'll, he'll, he'll pull them out if he needs to but it, it, you're absolutely right